If you're trying to develop a project in Preble's mouse habitat, it's going to cost a lot of additional time and money. Some projects may not even be possible. I thought I was doing the right thing, doing a fun project that I thought would be a benefit to us, obviously, in the city, uh, creating good quality office buildings where people could stay home rather than commute to southeast Denver. Obviously we found that I was impacted by the mouse. In terms of time, it cost me well over 15, 16 months through this process. Um, well over $100,000 for attorney fees, biologists, and of course the loss of sales exceeding a million dollars. This trail, we've been involved in the permitting process with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service for over three years and have not successfully come to any resolution. So we've been actually held up um, in construction since 1998 when it was listed that no new portions of this trail have been constructed. The damage financially to us was tremendous. The people can't wait. I mean, you, you work with, with people in the, the one building, we had a, a tenant for the entire building. They were coming out of a lease situation. Uh, we were going to have the building completed in a time frame that worked for them. Uh, obviously, when we got into this situation, that went away. Another building, we were doing a build to suit. We were actually building that building to sell to these individuals. That went away. To the south of us, we had all three of those sites in Brookside 5 sold. They all went away. Um, and then we found that people got very nervous about this whole situation and thought maybe we could never get a permit. For us, Douglas County Parks and Trails, the additional cost, if nothing else, has been the time involved and in, in just the sheer fact that there ha has been inflation since 1998. So uh, we are looking at, instead of $1998, doing construction in 2000. For 2005, 2006 dollars. So there's an associated economic cost involved in the project. Now that also translates to uh, additional costs for our designers and additional costs for uh, permits and additional costs for the actual construction itself. There are also emotional costs involved uh, with our trail users. So I get calls every uh, every month. When is the trail going to be completed? When I, when can I ride from Chatfields or Cherry Creek State Park to Castlewood Canyon State Park? And I wish I could give them a good answer, and, and, and I can't. So there's a, a certain emotional issue involved and an emotional tie that the people have and an emotional cost that the people have of, of not being able to uh, make those um, connections on their bicycle, on their hike, on their, on their horse uh, between the two state parks. My family's been here 125 or six years. I, I love Douglas County. Uh, I can't tell you how much I love Douglas County. And I, can't say that I'm an environmentalist, but obviously I don't want to th see things damaged. Um, after all, that's what makes our, our county beautiful, and that's why people are coming. But I still think that there's got to be some medium ground here, um, and, and could have been, uh, where I don't think um, perhaps the, the, you'd impact the mouse. Um, I have my own theory on that. Uh, apparently they've been around a long time and they've survived floods. Um, so I guess I'll stop at that.